Hey, what's up everyone? My name is George and this is SaaS Master. Today I want to show you a really cool SaaS that lets you translate your site super easy and super fast. Now the reason I want to show you this is because it's available for WordPress, Shopify, Wix, even HTML sites. All you need to do is embed a code and if you're in WordPress, just install the plugin. So what this enables you to do is to translate your site in an easy form. Now what it does, it lets you put one of these widgets right here that lets you choose what language you want to use. Now the free version is kind of limited but I'll show you what's available and what it's capable when you buy the pro version so let me show you around really quickly this is convey this uh, site and if you guys want to grab the deal that's going on check out the link in the description so like I said before it's super easy to get started let me head on over to my account and right now this is a plain account brand new account and I, I can select what plan I want so in this case I'm gonna show you what the free plan is capable of and what you can get is one language so that means right here on the right you can see that little flags on the right it only lets you select one language so for example your main language and the one you want to translate to obviously you would select the language that you mostly use so for example i'm in mexico the next language that people might search for is english so i enable english and if it's in english i would want to do spanish or if i'm close to for example i don't know let's just say i'm in spain and i use spanish i want to translate it to french to German, something that's near to what I need in case you're using the free version. If you use a business plan, you got five languages. If you go to the pro plan, you get 10 languages. Also, you get the number translated words, which you're going to see in a bit. So we're going to translate and I'm going to show you how that works. Uh, monthly page views. So that's how many times people view the, the page. Uh, machine translating. So that means it auto translates. So it's pretty cool what you get. So let's head on over, select the free plan. Let's check that out. And I'm going to select this plan. All right, let's head over to dashboard. And in my dashboard, I can change the plan later on if I want. I got in usage analytics right here in the convey this. So how many used words, total page views, total languages, and the grade of my language. Um, you can improve the quality because they give you a, a paid service. So if you want to do like a better translation, they could do it for you for a paid service, obviously. All right. Let's head over to domains here on the left, and we're gonna add a brand new domain. So in this case, I'm going to add this domain right here, and I'm gonna use for testing purposes. And what you get, like I said before, you get like, for example, the embed code. So if you're on just any plain site that lets you embed a code, you can do it, all right? That's with this one. If you're using WordPress, head on over and install the plugin. That's what we're gonna do right now. So this is my site right here. I haven't installed the plugin. I want to do it together with you. So I wanted to show you how easy this is. So head on over to plugins, add new, click right here and add new, and search for convey this. And it's the first one that pops up. So let's install it. All right, and now let's activate it. And now that it's active, we get this little message on the top, configure page. If you don't want to use that, there's a link on the left right here, convey this. Let's just click on this one. So that, that's what you would do, for example. And the first thing that it's going to ask us is the API key. The API key is in our dashboard over here on convey this. So it's this one right here. Let's copy the API key. Let's go back to our WordPress side, put that in, select the source language. In this case, this side is in English. And my second language that I want to use is Spanish. All right. So like I said, free version gives you one language. So let's save this right here. And now that is saved. So let's head on over to the side and show you what happens. All right. So my site is loading now and you can see on the bottom right corner, there's a little flag there. It's saying that's in English, but if I want to change it to Spanish, I'm going to do it right now. If I click on it, it's going to auto translate it. Let's wait for that to load. And there you go. So that was Digital SaaS, Desarrolladores. Bienvenidos a ahorrar dinero en el software que usted necesita. Bienvenidos SaaS. So it's in Spanish now. Buttons are in Spanish. Contacto. So that's Spanish. Last SaaS is in Spanish. Uh, we build your tools for business, but it's in Spanish. Everything is now in Spanish. Buttons, texts, all that good stuff. 
even the, the what do you call it? <laughs> the, with the people who have said something about us. See that? Everything is translated. So it's super easy and super fast how that was done. Now, one of the things I'm going to show you is what, it, what you can do also here on the more options. So some of the things that you're going to see right here are only based on the paid versions. But just to show you how cool that is, which I'm thinking of really, really hard that I'm going to change it to the paid plan because of this. One of the things that I really want is the automatic language redirection. So for example, if someone from, I don't know, if you have that language added, German, and the browser, the browser, like the one you're using, Chrome, Chrome browser, uh, <clears throat> Internet Explorer, or, or any of that, if the browser is set to German, when they log into this site, it's going to auto translate it for you. So they don't have to go over to the flag and translate it, but that's available in the paid version. Also, you can hide the logo, convey this logo. You can hide that in the paid version. Translate media, adopt images for specifics, translate PDFs. You can have that available also uh, for SEO purposes, href flag, flag tags. So yes, we want that enabled. Customized languages show. You can do pictures, text, positions, and vertical locations. So you can change it to the top instead of the bottom, horizontal locations, so left to right. So change the positions of this. Initiating vertical spacing from it. So if you have, uh, let's just say you're using some, another plugin and you want to move it, you can do this right here. So you can move it. Horizontal spacing also, so from the bottom. And if you want to change the flag. So for example, <clears throat> that's the English flag. But let's just say, hey, you know what? I'm not in the United States. I'm in UK, right? So let's put United Kingdom. And now it's going to have a UK flag instead of the USA flag. Because maybe that's it works better out for you. Maybe you're in UK and you're not in US, but I mean, both speak English. Or maybe you're, on, you're in Australia, so that could work also. Australia. So that helps you out. Or for example, for me in Spanish, uh, default it's Spain. So I'll change it to Mexico because that's what I use and that's what people will want to see. So that's pretty cool. And you can also block pages, add URLs that you want to exclude from translations. This is really important for you guys. Um, if you're using the free version or even the paid version, <clears throat> maybe you don't, don't you don't want to waste your translations. Uh, let's just say, <clears throat> sorry, my bad. Let's just say I, I'm here, media.dev, but I don't want to translate blog. Let's just say you got a thousand blogs and obviously you don't want to use the translation count on those blogs because you just want to use it for your main site so you can exclude those with doing this all right in this case i don't have blogs so i don't have to exclude anything but that's the way you would do it and it's really recommended you exclude sites um, if you have a whole bunch of sites all right next thing let's head on over to our dashboard and check out the domain and you can see my domain is added right here vimimedia.dev so you can see the source language the target language you can see my translations and you can see since I logged into my main site, it's language Spanish. Words in the site are 231, so that's deducted from my word count. Remember, we have a word count that's free. Well, that's deducted from there. And the views are this one's right here. So it's only been one view, but that counts from my, I think it's 5,000 or 10,000 views on my plan. Let me show you that. That's 10,000 views, all right, which is plenty for simple sites. Next thing we have is a visual editor. So let's just say you want to change the editing on your site. Something did not translate like you wanted to. So what you would do is you would enable this and now you have a visual way to edit it. So if I click on this little pencil, for example, this one right here, I'll click on this one, I could change what it says in Spanish. So instead of saying contacto, contacto, which is in Spanish, I could change to something else like, um, like, uh, I don't know. send us an email but in Spanish right so I can configure I'm, I'm not gonna do it because I think it's fine but you can try uh, translate this in a visual way to get it fine tweaking right so you can tweak it a little bit more to your liking so that's pretty cool that you have this op option and convey this so that's a available right here in the visual editor and you also have the text editor so sometimes you might want to use this because it's way faster because you just want to say menus is same right um, let's see something that's in Spanish Alright, project is proyectos, proyecto, right? So maybe you just want to edit it really quickly right here, and you could do it really fast, really cute right here. So you could do machine, custom, in this case, for example, if I want to do custom, I would check that, and I would use my, my custom translation. 
And if you do the pro, obviously that, that has a cost to it. You have to have the pro. And also, I'm going to show you really quickly, you can add the order professional translations. Now, that's that's an additional cost. If I add it to cart, so for example, those 235 words would cost, oops, to my cart, let's go to the cart. That would cost $32. So in this case, it's going to translate 359 words, and that would cost me that. If I wanted a, tra a professional translation, let's just say that would be a really good option if you are translated to a language you are not native to, maybe a language I don't know. For example, me, I know English, Spanish, I don't know German. So if I want to translate German, I, I actually don't know if everything is set right. So if I have a professional translator do it, I know it will be everything all right. So it's super easy to use, super easy to get going. As you saw, we checked it out, we selected the plan, we installed the plugin, we enabled the translation, and boom, we're ready to go. People now can click on that flag and translate. And like I said, if you want those more, the more professional features like the auto translating with the, with the browser, that's available in the paid plan, and other cool stuff. You can have multi-sites with these plans over here and team members, domain lockup, and CSV export, import export in the Pro Plus and the Enterprise. Well guys, that is Convey This. I hope you like this video. And like I said, if you guys wanna grab one of those plans with a special deal, check out the link in the description. My name is George, this is SaaS Master, and I'll see you guys later.